This is a high-resolution LiDAR scan of our cave, or the entire room, that's the cave back there, that's the computer running it, but that's not what I want to talk about uh, right now. I want to show how we can control a 2D desktop environment or arbitrary 2D applications from inside a running VR environment. We are doing that using a custom implementation uh, of the VNC remote desktop protocol, so by uh, doing that, I can connect to any local or remote computer. In this case, we are looking at the uh, desktop from my local computer here. Uh, and when I do that, I can just bring up the desktop as a 2D window in my 3D space, uh, and then I can interact with it and run arbitrary applications just by, in this case, using the mouse uh, or the keyboard. Uh, for example, I can you know drag the window around. Uh, I can type. Let's see. Here we go. Um, so I can just pretty much run arbitrary applications uh, just by bringing them into uh, the 2D space, embedded into the 3D space. To show a few more examples of that, uh, let me just bring up a web browser. Okay, here's my blag. Um, and uh, it works well. I can, uh, I can scroll through the page. Um, and uh, everything works exactly as you would expect. Uh, one thing that you notice is that uh, the font here is relatively small and the rift is not really that high resolution right now, so I have a really, really hard time reading that. Um, I can fix that in one of two ways. I can either make the window larger, in which case uh, it automatically zooms in to the display, or I can zoom independently by just clicking on these zoom buttons here, uh, and then I can pan through my desktop just using regular old scroll bars, uh, and so now uh, it's big enough that I can really appreciate the beautiful <laughs> LaTeX layout on this, on this matrix here, this projection matrix to be precise. So this allows me to uh, to work with uh, with the desktop, uh, being able to read the text and so forth, uh, no matter what the resolution of my device is. Um, let me go back to the full screen. But now this web page is static. Uh, so let's see what happens when I go to a uh, to a non-static web page. Let me zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's go to the bar up here, and then I want to go to my YouTube channel. Here we go. Uh, then let's go full screen and let's run and let's see what happens when we run a video. Um, I want to run this one. This is a nice video. Now, the VNC client here is of course using a remote desktop protocol, meaning that uh, it's just uh, running all of the applications on the other desktop and putting the desktop images in here. Uh, so there's a lot of transmission going on, but as you can see from this video, it's running really nice and smoothly. Um, so the performance is good enough that you can definitely watch videos uh, at full resolution without having to worry about it. Like I said, the resolution of the riff right now is not really good enough to read the comments, which is probably a good thing. Uh, mentioning that, this sort of meta here, I'm now watching a cave video while I'm in the cave, or at least I am virtually in the cave. Sort of funny. That's the old user interface. These are the old menus. The new menus, of course, look like this. Uh, right, so uh, uh, animation, movie watching works fine. Uh, I guess you could even watch TV if you really wanted to. Probably Netflix would even work. But uh, let's see what else can we do. Um, let's go and visit all the other Oculus developers, which are of course hanging out on the uh, Oculus subreddit, and here we are. So now I can go to the Oculus subreddit while I'm Oculusing, which is, I guess, kind of funny as well. Um, so, like I said, we can run arbitrary 3D, sorry, arbitrary 2D applications uh, using the remote desktop, um, which allows us to do all kinds of things. But I also want to show you very particularly what we are uh, doing with that. Um, so we are not using it to browse the web, let me just say. Let me go back to my web page. Okay, and then let me minimize this. So one thing, uh, we are using uh, virtual reality environments and VR applications to do science, in other words, to gather data, to gather insight from data. Uh, so we take lots of measurements, just one concrete example. Uh, and to do that, we have uh, a measurement tool. Let me before I go into that, let me sh uh, talk about something else real quick. So far, I've been controlling this using the mouse and keyboard. Uh, of course, what happens if you don't have a mouse or keyboard? Let's say you're in a real 3D environment and you have 3D input devices, like my trusty old Razer Hydra here. And the answer is uh, it works 
just the same way. So if you point the Hydra at the uh, display window, at the VNC window, then you just get this laser point and you can already see how the mouse cursor is tracking that. Uh, so I can just by pressing a button, I can drag the windows around, um, can you know click on things, whatever. Um, I can also, of course, use the Hydra to uh, uh, change the interact with the window itself, like I'm doing here, uh, or I can use it to pick it up now because the Hydra is a 3D input device. I can pick the window up in full 3D, so I can look at the back of it, which is you know kind of boring. Uh, I can put it over there on the side if I want to. Uh, not really going to do that now. So let me show you uh, an example of uh, of what I what I mean by by taking by, by taking data. So I'm going to create a measurement tool, uh, which creates yet another dialog box, which I'm going to put over here on the side. Uh, and then let me make one more tool, uh, a VNC text beamer. Okay. So the idea is now that with this measurement tool. Uh, we can take measurements in the environment. I can pick up the entire space and go over here and say I would like to make uh, distance measurements and then I can put a measurement marker right here on our conference table and on the other side here uh, and just measure the length of the table which turns out to be more or less precisely 2.4 meters. So now whenever I take these measurements, this is really what I take out of the VR environment. So how do you get these values out? Well, you could either write them down on paper, but that of course is not really good. Uh, what the measurement dialog does by itself is it writes all of these to a log file that you can then come back to later and, uh, uh, and analyze them more uh, in detail. But as it turns out, using this remote desktop thing, we can do something very convenient. Uh, we can just directly beam the data uh, into a spreadsheet running on the 2D desktop. Let me do that here. Uh, I'm going to open up. Uh, now I need to bring this a bit closer. I can't see it. I want to go and bring up my spreadsheet. Here we go. Well, okay, no, there it is. Um, and then I can just beam the data directly in there so I can annotate it um, from inside the environment, which of course is quite useful. Okay, come on, start up. There you go. All right, let me zoom in a little bit. So now I can just select a cell using the uh, input device, uh, and then using that uh, beamer tool, I can simply click on one of these text fields, and then the value gets beamed over there immediately. And then I click on there, beam over, click on there. Well, you, you get the idea. Um, so this is one way of getting all the measurements in there. Uh, and then I can, of course, not just get the measurements in, but I can, let's say, uh, oh, I can also get this one down here. Let's see. Oops, wrong button. I wanted to press this guy. Yes. So then I can, for example, here write using the keyboard again. Now, this is going to be challenging. As I mentioned, I'm a really bad, really bad typist. Uh, so let's see if I can manage. I want to write, no, that worked. Let's see. I need to find my point one. Okay, that kind of worked. Point two. Hey, look at that. I'm actually getting used to it. And so then I can here make a little annotation and saying this is the conference table. I probably have a lot of typos in there, but you catch my drift. So that is a very practical application of, uh, of using a remote desktop inside a VR environment, uh, which is actually why we, in, uh, why we put this together in the first place. Uh, but in general, like I said, you can run any application that runs on your 2D desktop. Uh, you can put any number of 2D desktops into your 3D desktop. I can open any number of these windows and place them wherever I want. Uh, they can be local, they can be remote, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and uh, that's uh, what I wanted to talk about. So let me get out of here.